Have you ever looked at a candlestick chart and felt overwhelmed? I remember feeling the same way when I looked at a candlestick trading chart for the first time. But once I understood the principles on how to read a candlestick chart, everything changed. Hey there, Kunda here. I hope you're well. In this video, I will be breaking down the important principles on candlestick patterns and how to read a candlestick chart. This is a complete beginner's guide. So if you're new to trading and want to learn how to read candlestick charts correctly, this video is perfect for you. We're going to go through the formation of a candlestick to understand the price action and how it is represented in a candlestick chart. This applies to all markets. So make sure you watch this video to the end in order for you to gain the most value for your time. I will be publishing more tutorials on trading and investing on this channel. So consider clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell icon so that you can be notified as soon as I publish a video. You can also check out the links in the description below for more trading and investing resources. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Here at Piggybacks, we're currently giving out a free beginner slash intermediate trading guide to help you start learning how to trade today. Grab yours now by clicking the link in the description below. So talking about charting essentials, as technical analysts, we mainly use three types of charts, which are line charts, bar charts, and candlestick charts. And personally, I use candlesticks and I recommend that you guys use candlesticks as well. And I'm going to be going through candlesticks on the TradingView platform. So if you are on your TradingView profile, if you select candles, you can see that they're bar charts, candlesticks, hello candles, etc and personally i use candles so you just select candles looking at candlesticks um we have to thank a legendary 17th century japanese rice broker who was named um m homa um you can google search him if you want to know his storyline but um he was basically one of the first japanese traders to use price history to predict price future and he made a fortune huge fortune and he's known to have made a hundred consecutive winning trades and his trading theories and principles have now evolved into candlestick charting techniques that we use today so a great great thanks to him so right now what you're looking at on my screen is a btc usd chart and this is on a three-day timeline or time frame so all these candlesticks represent three days and the first thing that you'll probably realize is that every time the candlestick is red it's going down and every time it's green it's going up red down green up red down green up red down green up so that is basically how you that's one of the first things that you recognize when you're trying to read candlesticks is that red is for down and green is for up and red means that the price is moving downwards and green means that the price is moving upwards this is important to grasp because it helps in reading candlesticks right so i'll be showing you guys how to read the formation of candlesticks so i have drawn um the last five candlesticks um so if you look where my mouse is can you see the last five candlesticks on this um three day chart so one two three four five i've literally just drawn these last five candlesticks right here so we're going to look at these last five candlesticks and I'm going to um, teach you how you can read them. So the first thing that you'll probably notice is that, OK, well, why is there no, you know, bits poking out of the candlesticks that I've drawn? Um, well, the explanation for that is because those bits that are poking out are called wicks. And the way a wick is formed is due to price movement. So these candles that I've drawn so far, they're only showing you the open and the close so if you recall i told you that when you're reading candlesticks red is price movement going downwards and green is price movement going upwards this helps you read candlesticks because anytime a candlestick is red you have to read it from up going down i'm just going to label this so this right here is the open and the bottom right here is the close so when you're reading a red candlestick the open is always at the top and the close is always at the bottom now to explain the wick 
when you're reading candlesticks, what I've drawn right now is called a body. So candles, candlesticks can either have wicks or have no wicks. The wicks represent the price movement whereby price has moved above the open or below the close. So in this example, this is a red candle. So because the first candle right here on this chart that we've drawn, because we've drawn the last five candles, which is one, two, three, four, five. So this is the first one. This candle here has wicks because price moved upwards like this and then hit a top and then it moved down again. Hit a bottom and it moved up again. So now to label this, when the price opened, the candle would be like this. So the price opened and the price could have moved either way. It could have gone down first or it could have gone up first. We don't know because we were not watching the candle. However, if you're watching the candle, you actually see the candle either go down or upwards. So right now we're just um, using an example of the price going upwards first. So if the price had gone upwards first, the candle would open. So after a three day period is done, when this candle opened, it would open and we're assuming that it moved upwards first. So it would have moved up first and then it will hit a high. As soon as it hit that high, a wick would be formed. So as the price has moved up, a high has been formed. So we've labeled this high. This is the highest price that this three day candle has hit so far. And then what happened now is that the price moved downwards and when the price has moved up like this, this candle would turn green. If you are watching it, this would be a green candle because it's gone from its open upwards to a high. It's gone above its open. It opened at a specific price and it's gone higher than the open price. This candle would turn green. So this candle would now start going down and a wick would be formed until it gets to its open price right here that's when the candle would start turning red as soon as the candle goes below its open price it will turn red to show that price is moving downwards so this time it's gone red and reach a low once it reaches its low, we can see that looking at this candlestick, the price moved up and closed right here. That is the candle that we've got right here. This is the first candle. And to label the bottom, this would be the low. The low is the lowest price point that the candle reached. So can you see how it is important to be able to determine whether a candle is red or green and that will help you in reading um, your chart. So a red candle, the open is at the top of the body. The close is at the bottom of the body. The low always remains at the bottom of the wick and the high always remains at the top of the wick. The high is the highest price that the candle had. So that's the highest price that the market moved within three days, within that three day period. This is the opening price within that three day period. This is the closing price within that three day period. And this is the lowest price within that th three day period. So looking at this exact candlestick, we can see that this candlestick opened at $9,291. If you look up here, right at the top, you see an O H L C. 
the O represents an, the open, the H represents the high, the L represents the low, and C represents close. So instead of you trying to um, figure out where exactly the price is by looking at the price on the right hand side here where my mouse is right now, you can just hover your mouse onto the candle and the data is represented right at the top where there's O, H, L and C. So we can see that this candlestick, the high was $9,351.17. The open was $9,291. The close was $9,233.10. And the low was $9,153.43. So that is how you read this candle. Now we're going to take a look at um, how you can read the green candles. So I'm just going to move these um, candlesticks to the right so that I'm actually able to label them. Okay, so when we're reading green candlesticks, you read them from the bottom going up to the top. So with this green candle, the first one that we've got that I've drawn out right here, the bottom part of the body would be the open and the top part of the body would be the close. This is because green candles are red from bottom going upwards. So we're just going to label these. Right, so now that we've labeled our candle, we're going to look at the movement of this specific candle. Remember this candle right here where my mouse is, is representing the first green candle from the five last candles on this three day chart. Um, if I quickly label this actually, just so that we're crystal clear on which candlestick that we're looking at. So the arrow is pointing at the representative of this candle. So this candle right here is representing this candle. So when this candle opened during this three day chart, it would have opened down here, right here. This would have been the open. And when it opened, it would have gone either up or down we don't know because we were not actually watching the chart could have gone either way. It doesn't actually matter which way it went because what we just end up wanting to know is how the candle was formed and the information that the candle actually gives us. However, if you're watching the candle, you'll be able to see which way it went, whether it went up first or down first. So because when we did the red candlestick, we gave an example of it going upwards first. Um, with the candle, with the green candlestick, we'll give an example of it going downwards first. So right now, we're going to assume that when this green candle opened, it first went downwards. So if this candle first went downwards, it would have started going down and it will be a red candle. If, you'd have, if, you're, if you were watching this candle live, it would have gone down and it would have been a red candle and then it would hit a low. So once it hits its low right here, the candle would now start moving up. And once it starts moving up, a wick would be formed. Right now, the candle goes back to its open price and as soon as it surpasses its open price, it will become a green candle. So this candle would turn green if you're watching it live and then it would start going upwards. And once it goes up, it would hit a top. And we can see that when this candle hit its top, it slightly retraced and came back down to close just slightly below the top. And the wick is not that long. It didn't go too low. So this is how our candle looks like. So to finish off labeling the candle, we know that this is the top and this is the low. So now that we've labeled out our candle, we can see that the low is the bottom of this wick and the high is the top of this wick. So this candle opened at the bottom of the body right here and then it closed at the top of the body right here. The high was at the top of the wick right here and the low was at the bottom of the wick right here. So if we're to actually look at the amounts, all we have to do is hover our mouse onto that exact same candle and we will be able to input the data or see the data or the price points of this candle. So we have an opening price of $9,134.44, a low price of $9,073.53, a high price of $9,243.36, and a close of $9,211.99. So I'm just going to input these onto um, our labels. Okay, so now that I've labeled this um, candle, we're going to go through the picture 
that is drawn by this candle once again. So we can see that the lowest price that this candle hit in this three day period was $9,073.53. It opened at $9,134.44 and it went to a highest price of $9,243.36 and it closed at a price of $9,211.99. So because this candle closed higher than it's open, it is a green candle and you would read it from bottom going up to the top. Whereas the red candle that we went through the first time had an opening price of $9,200. $191 and it went up to hit a high price of $9,351.17 and then it went down to hit a low price of $9,153.48 and then it went up to close at $9,233.10. Since this candle closed lower than its opening price, it is a red candle and you would read it from top going down to the bottom. Right, so I have separated um, the candlesticks that I drew here um, so that we can label them together. I've also covered the ones that we went through together. So I've labeled these with arrows so that you're able to differentiate between which candlesticks we're referring to um, so that it's just easy on the eye. So the first candle that we went through from the last five that we're focusing on up here uh, the one with the yellow arrow is represented by this large one with the yellow arrow. The second red candle has a purple arrow going up, is representing the purple arrow going up, pointing at the red candle on the actual chart. And the blue arrow pointing at the green candlestick is represented by the one I drew with the blue arrow pointing at it. The last one that I've put an arrow on is the orange one, which is representing an orange arrow pointing at the candlestick so i've also covered up the ones that i labeled for you guys when i was um showing you guys how to um read candlesticks so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through the first red candle with the purple arrow on it and label it together so we will start from top going bottom what do you guys think is the name of the label that i'm pointing at right now So if you guys named this label the high, you're correct. So this is the high, which represents the highest price that the candle stick would have hit or reached. What label do you guys think is represented right here where my arrow is pointing right now? If you guys labeled this as the open, you're correct. This is the opening price of this candlestick. So what would be the label for this one right here where my arrow is now? So this would be the close. If you guys named it correctly, well done. And if you didn't, don't worry. All you just have to do is go through this lecture again and within time, it'll be encrypted in your head. And the last label, what would you guys name this label right here where my mouse is right now? So this one is the low, which represents the lowest price that this candlestick hit. So we're going to label the green candle that has an orange arrow on it now. So since we labeled this one from top going down, we're going to label this one from bottom going up. So where my arrow is right now, what would you guys name this label right here? If you guys say the low, you're correct. This is the lowest price point that this candle hit or reached. So moving up, what would you name this label right here? If you guys said this is the open, you're correct. This is the opening price of the candle. This is where the price started when this candlestick opened. Moving on, what would you name the label right here where my mouse is? If you named this the close, you're correct. This is the price point where this candlestick closed at. And the last label at the top, what would you name this label right here? This is the high and it represents the highest 
price point that this candlestick hit or reached so as you guys know these candlesticks represent a three-day candle so these price points are the highest that this candle reached within a three-day period the closing price point within a three-day period the opening price point within a three-day period and the lowest price point within a three-day period same applies to the red candle this is the highest point within a three-day period that this candlestick reached in terms of price this was the opening price point within a three-day period this was the closing price point within a three-day period and this was the lowest price point within a three-day period so we're just going to now look at labeling the actual pricing or the actual price points so if we scroll right to our candlestick which has the purple arrow we will see that we have the OHLC at the top that's where we'll find our price points just to show you that these figures change when you move your mouse so you can see if I move my mouse to the left it's now showing me the open the high the low and the close for the yellow arrow candlestick, the candlestick that has the yellow arrow pointing at it. And then when I move it to the right, which is the purple one, which is the one that we actually labeled together and the one that I'm just about to put the price points in, this candlestick is being represented now at the top. The data is up there. The open is $9,234.19. The high is $9,282.08. The low is $9,026. 51 cents and the close is $9,132.87. So now that we've labeled um, the red candlestick with the purple arrow pointing at it, we're going to label the green candlestick with the orange arrow pointing at it. So I'm just going to hover my mouse right over it so that we can start labeling it. So we can see that we have an opening price of 9000 $213.15, a high price of $9,573, a low price of $9,128.21, and a close of $9,539.51. Okay, so I have now labeled um, the green candle with the orange arrow pointing at it and we have all our labels in so i'll just uncover the ones that i went through with you guys earlier when i was actually um showing you guys how to um read the formulation of these candles just clean it up a little bit okay so we've got all our labels for um four candles um the last candle is not um is not labeled um, that's because at the moment that candle is live so if you look at the price the price has been going up and down if you've already noticed whilst i was doing this tutorial um the price has been going up and down so this candle has been changing this candle wasn't this tall before it was roughly about this tall and then it went up it went down a little bit and then it went up it didn't go into the red though it was always in the green so the price from when i started making this tutorial the price has been on an upward trend right so we've got our candlesticks and they've all been labeled and i would suggest that you guys um really grasp how to read these candlesticks because it'll be very important and useful for the upcoming lessons so just to recap um, red candlesticks you read them from top going down to the bottom and green candlesticks you read them from bottom going up to the top and the red candlestick has an open at the top of the body and a close at the bottom of the body and the green candlestick has an open at the bottom of the body and has a close at the top of the body the high and the low are always at the same place the high is always at the top or the price point that was at the highest point the low is always at the bottom which is the lowest point and one final thing that i need to show you guys is that you can get a candle with no wicks and i'm going to give an example with this last candle so if you were to get a candle with no wicks, let's say the candle is green like this one and it's got no wicks. How do you think this candle would be labeled? So we're given an example of a green candle and it's got no wicks, it's just got a body. How do you guys think that this will be labeled? If you said that the bottom of the body would be the open, you're correct. And if you said that the bottom of the body would be the low, you're also correct so any candle that has no wicks that is green the bottom of the body is the open and it is also the low 
because it is the price point whereby the candlestick opened and it also is the price point whereby the candle hit its lowest price so the top of the body would be the close and it would also be the high this is because the top of the body would be the highest point that the price reached and it is also the point whereby the price closed i'm just going to label these out for you now and then we'll go through a red candle right so i've actually labeled these um two candlesticks with no wicks so as you can see the bottom part of a green candle with no wick is both the open and the low and the top part of the body of a green candle is both the close and the high looking at the red candle with no wick the bottom of the body is both the close and the low and the top part of the body is both the open and the high so I hope that this video has helped you to understand the essential basic principles that are important when reading a candlestick chart. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button below if you found value in this video. If you want to see more in-depth tutorials about trading and investing just like this video, consider subscribing to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I publish more educational content. With that being said, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.